podcast is intended for mature audiences. The views and opinions expressed are those of the panelists and do not reflect in any way those of the podcast partners, sponsors, or affiliates. Enjoy. Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and you're listening to the voice of the people. Let's get ready for Boxing Voice. Every day I'm hustling, 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 hustling. Every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling. Boxingvoice.com. What broke him down? Was it just the body punches? I was hitting the body punches and I heard him actually was crying in there. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, my peoples? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another one. Um... Oh, shit. Got to reach through my camera over there. But listen, uh, we're back. And I see a few people joined uh, our members. I just want to go ahead and tell you, head on over to the community page right now because we did do a betting show today. We do got some betting slips for tonight's fights. And that's kind of why we're doing a live fight chat because, you know, there's some money on the line. There's some money to be made. So we've got to do what we got to do. You know, so we're going to be calling these live fights and uh, we're interested in we're interested in the fight that we're most interested in is going to be Brandon Glayton and Najee Lopez. So Brandon Glayton in the main event and Najee Lopez, I don't know exactly when he's going to fight, but uh, he's also on the card. He's a light heavyweight that we certainly want to keep our eyes on he's only seven and oh and they already got a betting line for him so you know we uh made him a little paul lele you feel me um so yeah we should be good hopefully let me wait why is this not working but yeah hopefully you guys are tuned in to pro box it's on youtube and right now in the ring is a Puerto Rican kid, he's a southpaw from Caguas, and once they put his name back on the screen, I'll, I'll inform you. This is a six-rounder, and, you know, with, with Showtime out of boxing, series like Pro Box can have their opportunity to, to rise. But the southpaw kid seems good, okay? His name is Gomez in the black and red, and he's taking on De Jesus in the uh, yellow and black. De Jesus obviously looks like he's not a full-time boxer at all. You know, definitely a journeyman. Brought in to allow this young kid to showcase his talent. And he, he's attempting to do that. Oh, he got caught there by De Jesus. But he's doing a good job of uh, entertaining us and putting these shots together. De Jesus catches him there with another left hook. And now De Jesus is uh, picking up a little bit of confidence. Got his hands down and... Okay, he's looking a bit more better than I thought. Um, you know, at first, De Jesus didn't look like he boxed, but he he's doing very well with the counter left hook. And defensively, he's actually blocking these shots really good. He's got a very tight, tight guard. Um, but he looks older nonetheless. So Gomez, you know, should be able to wear him down in these six rounds and get the job done. Oh, good right hand. Good right hand by, uh, is it Hector de Jesus? He's got Hector on his trunks. But once again, if you're watching this on YouTube, you already know what we need you to do. What's that, Ness? Oh, yeah. We need you to hit the thumbs up, help with the visibility of the show, you know? Get this in the episode, get this episode in the eyes of other people. So that they know, you know, we're trying to do our thing here. We're trying to get those numbers right. Timestamp, 51 seconds, first round. 
I like the kid's power jab. Southpaws are always fun, especially if they're not big on boxing, if they are aggressive. Oh, good. Four, almost five punch combination there. Starting off after body and finishing with a right hook. But he keeps getting caught with that jab. And this is obviously what I think is going to have problems for Regis. The southpaw who keeps his hand that low is going to have trouble with an orthodox fighter who pumps the jab. But Gomez is uh, actually very good. I like what I'm seeing from the young kid. And 10-second clapper has sounded. And we're, that round has come to an end. I'm trying to get this information here. All right, let's see. Jacob Gomez is fighting Brazil, Brazilian Robin Roblins, Roblinson de Jesus. Uh, Jacob Gomez is 7-0 with one draw, five KOs, and he is from Caguas, Puerto Rico. And then 7-0, uh, you got 5-0, one KO from Brazil. De Jesus. So, uh, nice aggressive fighter. You know, has a little stocky build to him. Seems like the five KOs that he has may be real. He definitely looks like he's packing some sort of power. But we'll see how that continues as the fight goes by. De Jesus didn't strike me as Brazilian. His shorts say Hector, but once again, um, the official, unless they, I mean, they can't because it can't be two. What would be the chances of them finding two De Jesus with different first names? So I don't know. His shorts say Hector, but his, he's on the fight card as Roblin Sen. And uh, he's not doing too bad to test this kid, give him some rounds. It's up to Gomez to put this Brazilian away. And he's trying by doing very good body work. But again, that right hand so low, he he's, keeps getting caught with that left hook. And the jab, you know? He's got to tighten up on that, on that right hand. That's his lead hand, so that's, that's supposed to defend, parry. Any of those incoming shots. But, again, if you guys uh, haven't, make sure you check out the betting show before, you know, those bets that we made are gone because we did do a quick betting show for today's fights. And, uh, yeah. So I want to shout out to Big Stepper in the 254. Salute Big Stepper for becoming a member on that prospect level. But like I'm telling you, you might as well become a champ because we pretty much make you your money back, man. We bet every week, and uh, we've been hot. So if we hot, you hot, we win, you win. But we do appreciate your prospect membership. There are certain um, posts that you can leave a comment on that I will use as a question for certain fighters that I'm interviewing. So right now there's an Oshaki Foster post. I think you could be able to go ahead and drop a question. Uh, we got Brandon Cordova. Welcome to the champ level. <laughs> Brandon, you should be able to see the betting slips immediately. And uh, Jacob not really capitalizing on his youth. Um, he doesn't really use that jab, but he still is winning these rounds, and that is the end of the second round. But once again, Brandon Cordova, you can immediately go to the community page or, uh, yeah, go to immediately to the community page and check out the betting slips that we have for the bets that we placed on tonight's fights. If interested, you could just follow and see how good we do. Lil Zooted on that champ level with the $5 Super Chat. chat. Shout out to TBV. Pound that like button. Salute, salute, fellas.
Appreciate you guys rocking out with us. You know. Um, Vinny in Vegas, salute Ness. I appreciate the work you put in. Appreciate you, man. But, hey, I was going to watch these fights anyway. Better to watch them with you guys than alone. Because technically I'm alone, right? Danny, little bum ass, ain't want to do it. So uh, here I am. But. Like, this is, I, I, I want to watch these kids. I want to know them so when they get on that high level, I already know who's who, and my bets hit even better. Like, I like Jacob, but we, we obviously can see that he needs to uh, build a little bit. He needs a jab right, right now. No jab. Jab, bro. He's doing this, and it's like, bro, you're wasting energy. Jab. Double jab. Step with the jab. Cut the distance. Beat this old man's body up. Get this Brazilian out of here. Pack him up, send him home, go back to Puerto Rico, put on some bad bunny, call it a fucking day. You feel me? I like those one twos down the pipe. Good body work now. Following up with the right hook and the uppercut. See, the, this is good. There he goes. Now he popped the jab. Oh, but he stepped in and got caught. Damn. But I like him. I like this kid. Let me double check again with weight class. This is. The opening broadcast, super featherweight. Okay, so that is super featherweight is 130. 130. Oh. It's either 130 or 126. I'll double check in a sec. But he's getting countered. He's young. Let's see how young he is, man. He looks young. Let's, let's hope he's only like 19, 18 so that these mistakes can be forgiven. Fuck, he's not. He's he's 21. His name is his name is damn. He's got a big name. Zachary Bradley Gomez Zayez, Lord. Five eight. So he's big for this weight class. 21 years old. He got a draw. In Mexico, over Luis Reyes Carmona. Now, every time I see that, I'm going to remind motherfuckers of, 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 of the Regis thing, right? Uh, because they say Devin didn't get it out the mud. Meanwhile, here goes my man, went to Mexico and got a draw. And, and today on the betting show, we discuss somebody who's going to be fighting today, first loss ever in Mexico. And he's on this card. He's a little heavy on his feet. Ooh, he got caught with that check hook again. Listen, if this old Brazilian could clip him, somebody else can do that on a higher level. You know, he's going to have to tighten up. He lives in Puerto Rico too, though. So he, he came out here for this. Maybe this is uh, one of those Miguel Cotto fighters. Good right hook, uppercut combination, though. And that's the 10-second clapper. I'm sure this guy that didn't think this old Brazilian was going to go uh, all six with him, huh? Damn, salute. I see a lot of members rocking out with us. Did I do members only or some shit? Oh, no. Okay, Chip Chip is not member. Well, we in the third round. Right now, we in the, in the, in the middle of the round, awaiting for that, I believe, third to commence. Or fourth, excuse me. I'm not familiar with this trainer. But you see, this is all good. This is all new people we get to see and, you know, meet. Find little diamonds in the rough. Ring looks small, eh? Kid's 21, but he looks younger, huh? That's a little small-ass ring, I'll tell you that. But shout, shout out to this Brazilian. Let me see how old this Brazilian is because he look may he may look older than what he really is. No, he's thirty six. He's certainly old, but he's doing well to be thirty six. He's doing well, you know. Oh fuck! Good right hand, bro, and the counter left. Nah, the Brazilian's starting to shine. This kid's got to be careful with the left hook.
Yeah, he. you know, he might need to watch some tank footage since he's a southpaw and he obviously is big on his power. You know, if he's not going to use the jab, he's got to, I don't know, improve maybe the reflexes or the speed so that he can land these counters a little bit better. Good uppercut. He's digging, let me tell you. This just might end up being a very durable Brazilian fighter that, oh, that we never seen. Oh, shit, good jab. Yo, this Brazilian got that Sergio. Oh, he fucking check hooked him again. No fucking way. Listen, again, what the fuck? One, two, one, two on him, too? Yo, the Brazilian shot it in this round. I wonder if they're going to give him credit for this round. Bro, he's shoulder rolling, bro. Are y'all seeing this shit? I'm telling you, Brazilian got good defense. Look at that. At first, I was judging him, you know, a book by his cover, but you heard me quickly. I, I seen that he, he he has good D the way that he covers up, and he's been clipping my man with the left hook. This is crazy. Battle of the undefeateds, though. Even at 36, he don't want to lose. Which is crazy, because Crawford's 36, but look at this guy's 36. He looks fucking 36, man. God damn, he clipped him again, but at least Gaguas uh, Gomez hit him with his own right hook. Wow, I, I wonder if y'all guys catching this. What? Jacob Gomez, three-time Olympian? No fucking way. No fucking way. He honestly, I ain't, ooh, well, this Brazilian, oh! Bro, the Brazilian think he's shining too, bro. He's fighting with mad confidence. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is that a knockdown? That is a knockdown. You fucked up, Gomez. Um, damn, De Jesus. Damn. Yo, it would have been interesting in a six-round fight. The Brazilian boy, he was doing I. Right. I got to see a replay. It was that official knockdown. He did, he did land something. Uh. Nah, Jay, that wasn't floored. That was a good, whoa, that was a good check hook. Oh, man, there's a little bit of a pull down. Ah, tough. See, this is why we need replay. Ooh, I mean, there's contact, but it's a little bit of a cuff. It's a little bit of a cuff. This is why instant replay could save us. In the... Look, well, from that angle, he definitely went down. It wasn't the cuff to put him down. Nice little fight. Nice little fight. Nice little fight. Damn, that's it right there. That's a 10 8. What do you got? Bro, why he got 1979 on his shoulder? That must be his parents' birthday. And I mean, Gomez, he's got a 1979 on his left collarbone. There you go. Pump the jab, Gomez. But he's heavy on his feet. But at least he stepped there. I was just about to complain that he wasn't stepping with the job, and he did. Oof. He's got to keep that hand up. Mm. The Brazilian has a nice left hook, brother. He uses, and he's got these long arms. He knows how to use them. Again, I judge this guy by the way that he looked. He looked scrawny, linky, and I'm like, you know, he's an old man, but he's using his... Uh, Look at the guard. Look at his guard. Like, like the Puerto Rican can't break through that. Gomez can't break through that guard, bro. The Brazilian actually can has good defense. And then look at the confidence. Hands down like Sergio Martinez. And I'm oof. Look, good jab. I'm telling you, the only person landing the jab is Go, uh, De Jesus. And there he is again with the check, mother freaker. He's doing decent. He's doing decent. It's going to be interesting. This kid, uh, Gomez, comes up short, you know. De Jesus has good sense of uh, range. Look, another check hook, bro. And he's looking around. I don't know if he looked at the clock. Good jab there by uh, Gomez, but De Jesus answers right back, bro. Damn. 
Now I wish I would have scored it. See, you, you, you never know. You, I, I didn't know I was gonna have to score this shit. You know, I, did De Jesus win three rounds? Did he win four? I don't know. I mean, I feel like I've been in, getting more and more impressed over the last two to three rounds. They're saying the first fight for De Jesus at this weight? No way. Yeah, he was fighting at 26 before this. First time at 30. Clipped him again. Fucking hell again. Man. Bro. Like, I obviously am rooting for the young kid because, you know, he's he's he could be the future, but I don't, I don't, I almost feel like. Yeah, yeah, I feel like I was scoring this because now I'm like, damn, is this Brazilian winning and does he deserve to fucking win? He's like doing his thing. What do you guys got? I got to put a poll up. Fucking hell. Damn, bro. Uh, where am I at? What I got to go with is this fucking shit. Yo, let me know in the chat. There's not a lot of us here. Who do you have winning so far? I'm still going to do the poll, but who do you have winning so far? Put it in the chat. If you're watching this on YouTube, remember it's absolutely free to hit the thumbs up button. That doesn't cost you anything at all. It's just going to help with the visibility of the show. All right, so we got a who wins and how. I mean, at this point, it's almost silly to put KO, right? But what can you do? We late with it. What round are we in? Are we even going to have time? Damn, six and final, six and final. Fuck. Well, whatever. Well, I mean, definitely Jacob must be winning. He does have the knockdown, but this Brazilian can make it tight. Timestamp 2.30 on the clock, six and final round. Woo! Swing and a miss for the Jesus on that check. He's looking for that counter left hook. He sees it. Well, really, I should, it's a check. It's not a I mean, check counter. Same shit. There it is again. Oh! And he dug to the body with the straight right upstairs. Underrated, bro. Hope they bring this guy back. He's underrated. Look, he just, he just, he just said no like that to the corner. Like, he's in the clinch. He's like, nah, nah, he ain't do nothing. They got Gomez by DQ. Brazilian is going to pull a oh pull a oh my god straight right damn bro Brazilian is shining bro I'm not gonna be mad if they give it to him I ain't on front but the kid with a knockdown in a six round fight plus he's the heavy puncher you know he looks better landing his shots right like you know De Jesus is more like flight he hits you and he's out but I don't know man he's impressed me. Them, them rivals look small, but everything under 54 is eights. But damn, kid rivals' gloves look little while those Everlast under Jesus look so puffy. One minute left. Good little turning uppercut by De Jesus. Oh, man, bro. I mean, you know, he would he probably needs a knockdown so he doesn't get robbed. Or to make it tighter, I guess, because it's there is a knockdown in a six-round fight, but, Lord, he just counted with the straight right. He's really doing his thing. Look at how he pulled back and fucking looked at the crowd. The thing is, bro, Gomez, you know, 
The body land. Oh, that counter check. I think they're going to give this Brazilian the fight. I think they're going to give the Brazilian the fight, bro. He He's just out. He's outclassing him. Look, he laughs at him in the clinch. Bro, this Brazilian is shining to me. Good feet, good defense, end of the fight. Who y'all got? Holy shit. Everybody picked Jacob's decision. Is that who y'all thought won, though? Hell yeah, he's getting countered, bro. I don't know. Fucking hell. I wish I, wish I would have scored it. Nah, man, we decided to just watch boxing today. We'll talk about the Oscar shit tomorrow, son. But you can talk about it. I mean, you know, keep it moving $2. You said, you're not going to talk about the Oscar Bud tweet? See, these are big punches, and that looks good to the judges, but he's blocking a lot of that. Look at that straight right counter right there, bro. Look at this, bro. Okay, they just showed the replay, and we know they're going to give him them, them eight, you know, 10 8 for that. But look at this defense. Oh, okay, he snuck those in around the guard. That's good. That's good. Well, we'll see, man. We'll see. Good fight, anyway. Good fight. What up, like Jesse Cop? What's up? Z1, what up? What's up with everybody? Salute, salute. Damn. Yeah, they gave it to Jacobs. 60-53 or some shit like that. And 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 54, 59, I think. I couldn't really hear it, but can't say he ain't earn it. You know, he got the knockdown. But uh he got he got he gotta tighten up. He gotta tighten up. That was good boxing by the Brazilian. He gotta tighten up. He need to he need to implement a jab and raise that lead hand. That lead hand is too low. Can't be out here doing that. Can't be out here doing that. No. No. Can't be out here doing that. We live, we watching Pro Box for anybody that uh is wondering. These fights are on YouTube. They're on Pro Box app. You can get them there as well. So uh feel free if you want. Also, remember, if you're a member, head on over to the community page. You probably still got time to check out those bets and make it as well. So right now we're in an intermission. You know, fun fact, we did our final Border Wars in that very ring, in that very stadium. It's crazy. At least we went out with a bang, eh? Last one, the last one we ever did, Pro Box, gave us their facility before they ever did a fight there. So we actually were the first people to fight there. Border Wars fighters from TBV. <laughs> Yo, that's going to be history one day. You know, Pro Box will blow the fuck up, become the new Showtime, and, and we'll be able to say that, you know? Border Wars fighters fought on that fucking inside that squared circle. Don't forget, man, hitting the thumbs up is free, ladies and gents. Pour one out for who? You mean smoke one? Uh-oh. It says, as promised, here is the undercard from earlier. So this this might have this might have been a fight that wasn't scheduled to make it, but they got some fill in time. Let me see. Can I put captions on this bitch?
Damn, shit said captions unavailable. They wackity. Damn, this dude look ripped. Diego look like he fucking lift weights, bro. Yo, for all those people that say they can't hit the thumbs up on a TV, you lying. I just hit the thumbs up for Pro Box on my TV. Y'all fucking lying. It's crazy. Valasen, what is it? Va- Valasen, Darrell Valasen. He must be something that they uh, decided to slip this in. His opponent certainly looks like a bodybuilder. Look, he turned his eyes. Uh oh. Hopefully he he hopefully he fights better than his little face off. I'm telling you right now, the dude with the tattoos does not look like he's a real fighter. We'll find out. Now, remember, I judged the last fight, booked by his cover, and ended up Brazilian could fight. We'll see what's this guy's story. He's not even on the bout sheet, so I can't tell you nothing. But he comes out, dead center of the ring. He took control of the center. Little jumpy, little jumpy. Reaching with the jab. Okay. His name is Ferreira. Okay. We're going to just go with that because he's got another name there. It looks like Ibalanski or some shit. You know my pronunciation is horrible. I feel like he's a little tense, but it could just be that he's, you know, muscular. But Darnell, is it? Darnell? I got to see the name again. But he's pumping a jab. South Paul as well. Tall and, and looks very, very tall. But he's boxing well. Seems composed. Pumping a jab out that South Paul stance. Good to see. Usually... You don't see many southpaws pumping a jab. Like the last fight, it was a southpaw. Barely used it, right? Yeah, I'm telling you, this uh, the muscular dude is still tense, you know? He needs to use a jab for sure. He thinks he's going to get past his long guy's range with just head movement. At least he's attempting to go to the body, but... Oh, good uppercut there. This may not last. As Darnell... No, excuse me. It's Darrow. Can box. Darrow can certainly box. WP with a super chat for $5.33. Salute, TBV. After dark, who needs Howard Corsell or Jim Lampley when you got Ness? $5 challenge in effect. Damn, salute. He want to start a file out of super debt. He wants to start a $5 super chat challenge. Appreciate the initiative, my friend. Good uppercut again by Daryl. They said that Jesus was not 45. Are you talking about this guy? Because this guy's got Diego, and his last name is Ferreira. The Jesus was 36. Maybe he looked 45 because of the, you know, crowning of the balding. But, bro, I haven't seen my man land a shot, but he got a couple sponsors for sure. Oh, it's over. He got dazed up. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's over. They stopped it. God damn, my man. Oh, shit, he got split, too. They gonna give him a stand. What the? Bro, did he even count? What the fuck just happened there? Bro, bro, he stopped the action and didn't give the fighter a count, right? Please tell me that's what I saw. He didn't give the fighter a count, then told the fighter the action continues and let him get killed, right? What the fuck? It's still not over? What the fuck is going on here? Oh, my God. What the fuck are we watching, bro? Bro, this is some, this is some sort of joke? I, 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 I don't understand what the fuck just happened. This fight literally was ended three times without officially being ended. 
That man took punishment two extra times. This was weird. So, so they're showing a replay. He hits him with the uppercut. That's the, the beginning of the end. He's, he's over seven punches. The referee jumps in, waves it off with his hand, pushes him to the ropes, never gives him a count, never looks at his, his, his other, I don't know. This is weird. Just, just too, too skilled. Daryl was too skilled for this guy. And I said it, he didn't look like he could fight. You know, nobody's that built in boxing. Rarely. You know, Tabidi, Bradley. But, like, man, when you got muscles like that, you got to show me you can fight. He got bodied. That's crazy. He thought the bell rang. It's the ref's fault, man. Fucking ref waved that shit off twice. Jesus Christ. Damn, that was fucked up, bro. <laughs> That's messed up. That ref is, bro, look at the commission. Lord, man. That guy took un unnecessary punishment, bro. Damn. Well, hey, you win some, you lose some. Now, I, 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 hey, Tip, that ain't your joke. You still in that joke. Someone said it before you. That was B. Paulie said it before you. Little joke stealer. The ref said he thought he heard the bell. What an abuser. But right there, see, they don't want to show you the full replay. The motherfucker gets into action and doesn't continue to count or at least, like, give the guy the sobriety test. Is he okay? Lord, I wish I could hear what Paulie and, and, and Chris Algeria are about to say. Nice mics, guys. Wink, wink. Yeah, no. What up, Javier? Plant City, UK. I didn't know they had a Plant City in the UK. Joe Pilot, what up? WP, what up? Shake Johnson, what up? B. Paulie. Lady J. Rinus? Or right? Risa? Risa? I don't know. Uh, Gabriel. R. Mackey. Michael Fernandez, what up? Jaquan, what up? Tank Jr. <laughs> Man, bro, poor guy. Hell yeah, give his ass the sobriety test like they did Fury. Walk your ass to the right, walk to the left, motherfucker. Blowing it, blowing here. Because, damn, they, they killed them, bro. They saying Velasant was born here. I mean, uh, I guess he. Okay, what's this? Okay. So I don't know, they're showing some sort of uh, content. Oh, they have like a game show. Okay, they get they're, they're, okay, I see what they're doing. They are promoting their shoulder content in between the fight. It's a show called Sparring Session that they have with Paulie. I actually know George. I met him out here. Um, and, and Chris and, uh, it looks like they debate a few different topics. Not bad. Not bad. El es borracho de tantos golpes. Yeah, I mean, of course he was drunk after all them fucking shots he took.
All right, all right. They finally wrapped up with their show. Okay, so now G. Lopez is next. Bro, I ain't like the way Naji looked at the way in, bro. I ain't even going to front. I ain't even going to front. I ain't even going to front. Hopefully, he, uh, you know, rehydrated better. I don't know what you guys think. Here is the weigh-in pictures. This is our main event, and this is Lopez here. I didn't necessarily love the way that he looked. His opponent looked healthier than him. We'll see how he fights. Um, too late for you guys to bet on this fight. Maybe you can. I won't say anything until this actually starts because my betting people, we did recommend. This is your tale of the tape. I mean, your entire bout sheet. As you can see, we already seen Daryl Villasaint or Villasant uh, from Orlando, Florida get the stoppage over Diego Allen Ferreira. And uh, we still got a few bouts to go as we've seen Jacob and Gomez fight already. Excuse me, Jacob Gomez take on the Brazilian that did very well. And right now we're on Nigi Lopez versus Wheeler. Wheeler is a common opponent with some people I know. I think, let me double check. Let me see if it's gone on Bavada. Make sure it's gone. You know, I got I to gotta, I gotta have a certain amount of loyalty to my betting crew, all my members that sign up. Oh, shit. Trying to charge up. So, all oh, sports. Right now, Najee and Wheeler are meeting at the center of the ring. Najee certainly looks better than he did at the weigh-in. And he's giving the ice grill stare down to Wheeler. I hope he... Okay, the fight is gone so I can talk. We picking Najee by decision. Ronald Graville went eight rounds with this guy in February. And uh, I, I talked to Ronald personally. He said this guy can fight. He thinks the guy is strong. And, uh, you know, because of that, I'm giving Lopez the win. Who's Puerto Rican, by the way. Um, I'm giving him the win by decision, though. So, Beck, who I can't pronounce his last name, but the dude that just beat up Ambimbola by knockout, also knocked out Wheeler in two. So there's a barometer to be seen here. If Lopez can knock him out quick, then he's as powerful as Beck. If he can't, it's not a bad sign because Ronald Graville has a 78% knockout ratio and couldn't knock him out. And Graville can punch. He's the only man to drop Benavidez. So, oh, shit! Motherfucker! They called it a slip, bro. We need a replay. Holy shit. Thank God it was a slip because imagine if it's a real knockdown. That means my bet is done. Wheeler isn't as durable as I thought because, again, Najee could just be punching like that, like as, as much as the, the dude back from Uzbekistan. But, I oh, okay, good. See, Wheeler could fight. Good counter. He's going to keep, uh, oh, shit. Good right hand by Wheeler. I told y'all this is going to be a fucking fight. Oh, shit, another right hand by Wheeler. Uh-oh. Damn, is Najee even going to get the decision? Oh, shit. Good left hook to the body. By the oh, shit, he buckled him. Oh, shit, he buckled Najee. Oh, shit. What a fight. You motherfuckers, I told y'all, you better sign up to the betting show, bruv. This is a fucking scrap. Dudes be just talking. You got to know this sport, man. Good parry by Najee, but Willa with the nice jab, keeping Najee honest. But Najee, you can tell, is still recovering from that final right hand that buckled him. Oh, 
good. Man, I can't believe this shit. This ended up better than what I expected. I ain't even going front. My man got dog. He was about to go down in this round, and he fought back, and he hurt uh, He hurt Lopez right back. Damn. Beautiful. Ooh, good right. Partially blocked by Najee. This is a tough-ass round to score, man, but I'm going to score for the underdog. I'm going to have to get my app out. They ain't going to have this fight, I bet you. Let's see if fucking Pro Box is making a name for themselves. Oh, shit, it's here. I love it. Use your Judge Scorecard app. I don't get no money for this. It's called Judge Scorecard. It looks like you can't really see it. It's too fucking far, but the matches are there. You just got to click on it and score the round. So I ain't going to front. Um, He hurt Najee. Shout out to they ring card girls. They like butt-ass nigga damn near. Um, I'm giving that round to Willa. That's a that's a nine a ten nine round for Willa, for me. First round goes to my underdog. That first round goes to my underdog. That was a strong round. So look, right there lets me know Willa could make it the decision. He 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 survived the storm in this first round. Oh my God! Look at that counter punch, uppercut, right hand. We gotta fight. We gotta fight. And Najee's the house fighter. He's fought here plenty of times. So, again, our decision bet, even in a tough fight, is a good bet. It's a good bet. It's a good bet. Uh, good left hook by Najee. First, second round starts. Timestamp 2.54 on the clock. Najee with the stab jab to the chat, to the body. And, just, okay, check, up, uh, check left hook by Najee as well. Good parry there by Wheeler. Man. And mind you, I checked Wheeler out. He also is a guy moving up. Like, he fought as low as 68 before. So, you know, these guys are naturally bigger than him. So, you know, there is, I guess, reason to believe he could be stopped. But again, Ronald Graville with the experience that he has and he couldn't do it. It was a WBC, like, junior title on the line. I don't know which one, but you got to check on box rap. And I just feel like this kid, Will, ain't going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere. You got to be one of those, you know, super-duper power punchers, like those Ukrainians, you know? Because I'm not talking about Beck the Bully. It's the other one. Beck, gumma, la, 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 whatever. Look it up on box rap. Good 6-7 to the body from Willa, but nice left hook to the body from... The Puerto Rican, now he's just ripping left hooks. Oh, shit. Uppercut lands. Najee Lopez has Willa pinned on the ropes, but now Willa just winging away left hooks of his own, fighting off the ropes, and he sure enough got himself off those ropes. Now he, oh, fuck, good counter right. Bro, he's got Najee's respect, for real. This is a tight fight. Round two, one minute and 16 seconds left in the fight. And in this in this in this round, and it's hard to score. They oh good jab by Night G Lopez. They're both doing good work. They're both doing good work. Oh, good counter right by Night G, followed by the left hook. That might have done it for him. And certainly Wheeler is hurt. He backed up to the ropes. No, Wheeler! Get away from the ropes, Wheeler. Don't you knock out. No, Wheeler. Fight. Hug him. Hold the motherfucker. You cannot get stopped. Let's go. Let's go. Get off them ropes. Get off them ropes. Najee continues to do work, but clean work and, 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 and cautious. He's looking for the angles. It's like he's working. Oh, good right around the guard. Wheeler get Oh, Wheeler with the 6-7 to the body and comes back up to the right hook up top. But Najee keeps landing that right hand. Oh, shit. Big uppercut by Najee. Wheeler got a hold, though. He's going to go down. 17 seconds left in the round. Holy shit. He just got buckled. He's still on his feet. 11 seconds left. Bro, he, he refuses to hold. He might get knocked out if he's going to fight in this manner. He needs to hold. He's going to make it out the round, but he's wilding. He got a fucking hold. Oh, shit. Edgar Belanga's there. I mean, Najee is Puerto Rican, and they are cool, but I didn't know he was going to be there. Edgar Belanga on his feet, like, come on, let's fucking go. Bro, this fight is litty. 
Wheeler's in trouble. He needs to recover or I bet as fuck. Come on, Wheeler. Don't you do this shit to us. Let's fucking go. Good fight. Damn. See Showtime? Yeah, man, they got them yams out. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. We got Crane Enterprises with the $5 super chat. He says, super challenge matched. <laughs> Let's go. Because WP started the $5 super chat challenge. Crane Enterprises followed him up. Lil Zooted, he followed up. <laughs> Word. Salute to everybody. And we are in the third round. Hold on. Damn, that was certainly a not G round for me in round two. So I, I put that on my scorecard because I'm not going to let this the judges decide this one for me. Not G boxing well. Staying on the outside this round for so. for Good jab. And off the jab, he hooked Wheeler. But Wheeler coming aggressive. Oh, better be careful. Oh, shit. Wow. Nice combination. Hard punches landed by Wheeler. Hard right hands. Damn. But it looks like Wheeler, that took a lot out of him. He, he's not throwing punches as if he got hit or got super gassed all of a sudden. It, like his mouth is open. He just stopped throwing. This is weird. Okay, there goes a one-two. Now, G loves that left hook right hand. He's got to switch that up. Good double jab by Nige. He keeps doubling the jab. I like it. There you go. Okay. Right hand lands for Nige. Trying to smother Willow on the ropes now. Willow trying to tie up. There you go. He must have been told to tie up. But now he goes back to the high guard and leaning on these ropes. It's not a good place for Willow. Not a good place. Use your feet, Willa. Please. Please use your feet. Please. Come on, champ. Fuck. Uppercut lands. There you go. Get out of the corner with the feet. That's not... It's not hard. Good jab. And that's by Willa. Now, G, being conservative with these punches now. Now, these are light heavyweights, though, and they, they probably, you know, rehydrate a, a good something. So, can't ask them to throw too many punches per round. They ain't the little guys. Looks like we got a cash yet. Brown, three, 37 seconds left on the clock. Tight round to score. Tight round of score. I feel like I want to give it to Willa for the big right hands. But there was a lot more ring generalship from Najee and a lot more of this. Having Willa on the ropes and landing good shots like he just did that right hand and that uppercut. And the uppercut previously to me even bringing this up. So it's tough. This, this is more of a Najee round for me. Willa has gassed. $10 from Mac and Cheese. He said, I got $10 on that $5 challenge. <laughs> Let's go. Mac and Cheese. Salute, baby. Salute. Appreciate y'all showing love. We got to score round three for Najee. So we have it 29-28. Puerto Rico versus America. We got our first glimpse. Round four is about to begin. So far, so good, right? We doing good. So far, so good. In terms of our prop, uh, in terms of our potential bet. So far, so good. Lopez is in the red trunks, Puerto Rican, double in the jab, the American wheeler, 
shoots the jab to the body. But he's slowing down, and then I don't only mean output, I mean just reflexes. He's starting to get hit with 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 uh, Lopez's jab more, and it looks like Lopez has gained a bit more confidence. His left hand starting to come down. He's starting to get a little, you know, fancier, but still doing good work. Good left hook lands for Lopez. Du uh, double jab, straight right hand for Lopez. Wheeler trying to land that right hand, what he usually has success with in the uppercut style. Uh-oh, Wheeler going back to the ropes for... Damn, we got four rounds to go. Fucking hell. Come on, Willa. Come on. Get off the ropes. Damn. Good body shots by Najee. He's digging. Willa, Willa has... He's not moving anymore, man. We need him to move at least. Come on, baby. You couldn't have gave it all. You couldn't have gave it your all that quick. There you go. Show him this still sign here. There you go. One minute, 18 seconds left in the fourth round. And it's really just Najee's Lopez fight to lose. He's he's doing everything right. And we just got to hope he doesn't get the knockout so that our bet lives. Oh, fuck. He's about to kill this kid. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Damn. Damn, they're going to stop it. Okay, he got right up. He got right up. He got up. He got up. He's conscious. Oh, fuck. Damn. Is that he don't hold, man? Why you not holding, bro? Oh, he stopped it on us? This motherfucker stopped it? Damn. Damn. Now, now we got to hope on the fucking hedge. Now we got to hope that we hedged it. Najee punching, though. You can't take that away from him, man. Look at that fucking instant replay. Fuck. Uh-oh. We got Brian... Challenge accepted. Cheers, TBV. He sent $5 on a $5 super chat challenge. Salute. Damn, man. That was a good fight, bro. Edgar Belanga on the ring. Good sportsmanship by the two. That's Tim Van Newhouse right there. That's not G. Lopez's manager. Tim Van Newhouse used to be with Split T, and he left. And start his own managerial outfit. That was a great round. That first round was the best round for Wheeler. He probably gave up way too much in that round. Hopefully my hedge saves the day. Because I'm be tight than a motherfucker. Damn, man. I hate being wrong. <laughs> For real. Even though I should be happy because I've been rocking with Najee, and I am. But damn, I, 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 I guess that's what I get for underestimating his power. That's a good win. That's a good win. Uh, certainly a good win to show his power is real, bro.
Najee Chino Lopez gets the win by knockout, improves that record. Made me a believer. I mean, I already was a believer, and obviously we picked him to win. Um, I just said to myself, I thought maybe Willa could go to decision. If Willa would have fought like he wanted to go to the decision, he would have went to decision. He was out here trying to knock Najee out for whatever reason. He tried, but that was a good fight. <clears throat> good fight. Co-main event, I think, is uh, scheduled to be next. So Lopez improves to 8-0 and with seven KOs. Excuse me, fuck, bro. Damn, I'm so tired. That parlay was so lovely. And that's what happens, man. Ah. Hopefully this backup parlay goes right. That's all I that's all I need is for this backup parlay to shit to bed. I'm gonna be extra tight. Extra. Extra, extra. Read all about it. There go there goes a, a somebody making jokes. Now you want to make jokes about Berlanga. Damn. Yeah, man. They both got they both got hurt in that fight. That was a good fight, man. That was a good fight. Somebody's right, man. Pro Box is getting better with every event, let me tell you. Um, and I don't know if you guys know, but they got to deal with Samson. Samson is giving them fighters. Kodo's giving them fighters. And Samson's throwing events in Uruguay with them. So, you know, they got plans for the future for sure. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up on YouTube. Free way to support the show. Smash that thumbs up button. Free way to support the show. We live on Discord. Uh-oh, I got Burrow City E in between fights. What up? Chee! Boy, that was a good fight. Boy, that was... I ain't know nothing about this nigga Najee. Like, bro, I'm in here chilling. I said, man, let me see my boy. My boy, my boy Ness live, man. Let me see what he talking about, man. Let me see what's going on here. I see a fight going on. Hop on Pro Box, and I'll be damned if them boys ain't been throwing leather, bro. Like, bro, let me tell you something about you know, Najee. Najee, 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 uh, have fought Jared in the amateurs and, and used to be a heavyweight. He used to be, Najee used to be a heavyweight? Mm-hmm. Just like Benavidez. Bruh, bruh. Najee. You broke up, champ. You? That, that, listen, that, that, did you hear me? I said, did you see? Did you see that mean mug when they first yep. met at the center of the hell ring? Yeah, hell yeah, he fought Jared Anderson in 2017 at heavyweight. He also listen, fought, listen. yo, he fought Jared Anderson three times. Three times, and he fought, Who? and he fought Darius Fulgham like two or three times. I've been on this kid because I know Tim Van Newhouse. I I, I called yo, yo. I, I called this fights in Atlanta. I, I called one of his fights in Atlanta. You breaking up, Burrow City E. You might want to uh jump out, jump back in. But yeah, man, we rocking out. 
My little parlay just got shitted on, but we got a backup parlay. If you're part of the betting team, you know, our secondary bet should be good, you know. We can't always make $200, you feel me? So, hey. But let's see what's next. Who's next? Who's next? This is your uh, bout sheet. So we still got two bouts left. Co-main event is Cesar Mateo Tapia taking on he uh, Eric Robles. And then we'll see what happens in that Glayton fight with Romero. Glayton lost on Pro Box before. So... We'll see how he does in this fight. Actually, we can probably find that by pulling up on the event. Damn, Glayton's coming off of two back-to-back -back losses. Two back-to-back -back losses. Tough. Split decision, majority decision. He fought in Dubai in March. So he's definitely active. This fight was in December of 2022. This fight in March of 2023. We in October, which means he's been seven months out the ring. You know, after two back-to-back -back losses, that's a good, decent amount of time. Recharge. Carlos... You know what? It ain't main event time. But it is tail of the tape time. Right now, we got the tail of the tape. And... Okay, so that guy I was talking to is Beck Nurmagabet. Something like that. Hopefully, I said that right. Well, we miss. Let me see. Announcers in the ring. Fighters are. Oh, man. This referee, this referee certainly looks capable. <laughs> What, bro, this is what I'm saying. Like, yo, instead of Chop Chop Corley, like, still taking fight, like, he should be a ref, bro. Like, he's in better physical condition than that referee. Because these are super middleweights, and Eric Robles looks big as hell. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, 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 I didn't even, this bet wasn't even available for betting but that sucks that it's not because now that I think of it I know Mateo he's from the same stable as Medina and the other heavyweight that I introduced you guys to that just got signed to top rank I was offered an interview opportunity with him for yesterday it was just too last minute why does he give me, um, what's my man name with the mustache that Lemieux beat and Billy Joe Saunders beat? Spike O'Sullivan. Why he give me Spike O'Sullivan vibes, this Mateo dude? There goes my man, Ryan, looking all sporty with the fucking hat and the long trench. Whoa, what's up with Robles and his traps, huh? All right, well, the, the fight has commenced, and uh, we got 249 on the timestamp. This is an eight-rounder. You got uh, Tapia in the white and black and Robles in the red and black. Wait, so Mateo's name is what? El Tia Juana, El, El Tia Juana, El Tia Juanero? Tia Juanero, I think. Oh, shit, knocked down already. Damn, counter right hand, Mateo. 
Nice and quick, baby. Let's get to the main event. Good straight right to the body. Okay, I like Mateo the way he's... uh. Mi uh oh, better be careful there, Connor. I like how he's mixing it up, though. Robles was expecting him to go back upstairs. He took that shit straight to the body. That man has said it's over with. I don't know. Maybe you on a different time stamp. It's still on for me. Ooh, good double jab, right hand, left hook. Okay, Mateo. Good stab jab by Mateo. I, I, I can't make out what those words say on his back. He boxes well, though. He should get the win if he keeps doing what he's doing. Just got to bring that left hand up. Good left hook to the body by Mateo. He's doing his thing. Good first round. 46 seconds left. Good parry there. Stab jab to the body by Mateo. Good one, too. Robles doesn't really have the talent to get past this traditional boxing of uh, Mateo. He's going to have to sell out. Because if not, he's just going to keep taking these shots on the high guard and whatever slips in, slips in. Mateo Tapia having his way, being able to do whatever he wants. Good fight. Could be better with a little uh, resistance maybe from uh, our good friend Robles. He said, dude, got an old man body. Yo, but that's what we thought about the first fight. And he came out here and shined. Did his thing. So what weight class is this? This is... This is... Excuse me. This is... Super middleweights. Good to see that Tapia didn't, uh, you know, get overzealous because he got the knockdown. He remained calm and just kept working. Round two started, timestamp 250 on the clock. Mateo Tapia in the white and black, and you got Robles in the black and red. Robles, you could tell, blue collar guy, you know. This is not his... Full-time job, maybe it's full-time dream, but I don't think it's full-time job. But uh, he's got decent, you know, skill set. He's not he's not gonna just get blown out. And let me tell you, uh, Tapia is definitely placing body shots. Oh, good uppercut. Sorry for the low way, but it's not a lot of action to be called in here. You know, again, it's a, kind of a one-sided show. Uh, you don't, you're not getting much from Robles other than, you know, defensively blocking these shots, you know, and uh, the occasional pumping of a jab, you know, occasional flurry, but <sighs> nothing serious. I'm kind of already bored. 
like not bored, like oh I'm bored, but like bored where I'm like damn. Top should get this fuck out of here. Like, I'm not really trying to watch eight rounds of this shit. Especially the other dude is just not on that level. I don't know how he got co-main event status. He just doesn't... Sh- I ain't seen what, what he got to get co-main event. Good uppercut by Tapia. I mean, even his flurry is, is poor. He's not doing much. And he's busted up. Okay, he landed a good solid right. Okay, Tapia hasn't thrown since he got hit with that right, so maybe he needs to recover. Wow. Look, he's not... All right, that's his first punch since getting hit. See, these fights are important, man. You always got to see how a person reacts. Good left hook, whipping left hook, and uppercut by Tapia. Countered with that uppercut off that left hook beautifully. I don't know that he can finish Robles, though. I think we're going to be pissed the fuck off. I'm going to be walking off smoking if we got to watch this shit for eight rounds, bro. Uh, Fucking hell. Hit that thumbs up button. Saw Robles moving my neighbor's grass, <laughs> mowing my neighbor's grass. You're terrible, man. He said it's getting better. I hope. I hope. Hmm. I don't know. Let me see something. Has this kid... Has this kid uh been round? How many rounds is no? This is Layton. Let me go to the event. We got Mateo, fifteen and zero. Okay, Mateo is from Australia. Mateo, my man's name is Caesar Mateo Tapia. Birthplace is Mexico, and he resides. In Narbeen, New South Wales, Australia. What? Okay, he been 10 his last fight. Round three, timestamp 224 on the clock. Good one, two, three. By Tapia. Good jab there uh, by Robles to the body. One, two blocked by Robles. I don't know. I'm- is it me or is Mateo getting tired or is he what is he settling in? I mean, why is the output dropping? Am I wrong here? Good right hand on the inside by Mateo. Uh one two misses crazy for Robles. Another one, too, that Tapia just had to pull straight back. (laughs) Huge right hand misses for Robles. Right hand counter for Mateo. One, two, or rather two, one for Mateo. Robles coming on, back with a little flurry, digging three shots to the body. Mateo answering right back with three shots to the body of his own. Good job. 
I mean, I think that's that's where the fight is. One with this guy, like, it, 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 he's got to sell out. You know, Tapia is longer, better feet. He's going to have to sell out to get in distance. But Mateo's not making him pay. He just got in. Damn. I hope he ain't getting tired on us. All right, all right. What we got? Now Now Heyman says Robles came to party. Okay. Yeah, I don't know that he partying. That's Edgar Belanga's dad right there behind him. Next to his wife with the baby. Edgar with the big chosen chain. Mm, good straight left by Mateo on the replay. Good set of fights for a Wednesday. Let's be real. Decent, decent, decent action. Straight right. Na lands perfect for Tapia. Nah, Brandon Glayton ain't fight yet, Ray Donovan. Not yet. Not yet. He said Tappy gonna get worn down. Don't look like don't look like it. I'm with you, not out Heyman. I'm with you. Nah, Edgar not fighting tonight. He 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 was just there in support of not G Lopez. Yeah, I think it does say El, Tij El Tijuanero. Like the Tijuana guy. He's got good boxing. I don't know if Robles is just that durable or 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 or, or Tapia doesn't really have power. Cause not only like He's not, you know, stopping Robles from coming forward. <clears throat> and now he's fighting Robles' fight. You know, I, I feel like Tapia should be boxing, using his, his range, his reach, and definitely those feet. They way better than Robles', but he's giving him what he wants. Good left hook by Tapia. It's good scrap. I just, uh, I don't know, I guess I want more from Tapia as he's the one that actually looks like a fighter. But it, I feel like he's getting tired. Someone said he's going to get worn down. Is that is that what's happening, or did he take this round off? Good body work there. The pressure might be getting to him. Robles is uh, nonstop. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. Yeah, it does look like he's getting tired, AJ's Planet. I hope that ain't the case, but it, 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 it is starting to look that way.
Yeah, man. Robles uh, looks focused, too. Is that Jeff Finich? Was that Jeff in the corner with uh, the Australian? Good right hand by Tapia. And I know what up. Man, what? What? Because I don't get it, right? Tapia has nine KOs, 60% ratio. Most of his fights have been in Australia. While he did fight in Dubai a couple times, everything has been in Australia. This is his first fight here in America. And he, while he was born in Mexico, okay, the ref was about to fucking jump in. Yeah, Robles is adorable. Good uppercut there. Wow. Nice uppercut by Mateo. Damn. Fucking uh, Robles' eye looks bad. Left eye. They need to target that. One minute, 20 seconds left on the clock. Round five of an eight-round fight. Big right hand, man, that eye is looking worse. The referee is certainly, I don't know if that's his style, but he's like close into the action. I don't know if it's uh, because, you know, Robles got wobbled earlier and then that eye looking like that. I don't know, but he's certainly playing them close. Uh, not much going on. I mean, Mateo's just kind of buying time, honestly. I ain't going to front. He's, if he doesn't have to punch you, he's not going to punch. But it's a decent fight for sure. Oh, good uppercut. Oh. How you going to What? He said he pushed him down. My man collapsed. I don't know that that was a push down. Oh, fuck, bro. It's early as hell. I'm yawning like crazy. Mateo looks cooked in that corner. Shit. No bridge of his nose, slit, eye swell, exhausted. No bueno. Salute, salute everybody in the chat. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Helps with the visibility. Tapia definitely clearly winning this fight. But Robles still in it in terms of trying. Uh-oh, ringside physician to inspect Robles. They checking that eye. I'm telling you, that eye don't look good. They stopped it. Told you. That eye didn't look good to me last round. And I know we seen worse eyes, but the swelling just came so rapid. Yeah. I know people may not like that stoppage, but again, I, I was concerned with that eye. I, I, I felt like I seen that eye instantly swell. It was like, oh, wow, look, his eye. And then, oh, wow, his eye is swelling. It just happened so fast. I don't know. 
But that works for me. End of that fight and on to the main event, the one we actually care about. I'm about to get some chili. You know I told you that uh, Foodie Fit makes the best chili known to all men. And I'm about to eat some. Three locations in Las Vegas. If you are in the city, you don't have to eat unhealthy. You don't have to eat. You can eat clean, bro, and actually eat good food. Three locations in the city. Use the code TBV to get 15% off your order. Tell them I sent you. I'm telling you, get the get the chili. And they got uh, these new peach cobbler power bites. Insane. They're these little peach cobbler like muffin bites. They're, they're rolled oats diced with peaches, oat, and protein yogurt on the side. If you're into the yogurt, you could dip it in the yogurt. Or you know, however you want. But shout out to Foodie, baby. They keep me right. And I'm a super duper fan of their chili. I mean, I've said that before. Can't I can't say it enough. Let's see if they're gonna give us the main event any sooner, or they're gonna slide something in since that fight got finished early. Well, Mattel's still in the ring, so none of that just yet. Hell, my man's name is Cesar Mateo Tapia from Australia. That is funny to me. Crazy. Uh, let's see what we got. Jay, what up? Hey, Rob, what up? He was born in Mexico, champ, and his name is the Tijuanero. So, like, you know, his name is, you know, the the, the, the Tijuana guy. That's why he's screaming it out. He said, get that man a Modelo. Shout out to Ryan Ricky. That's uh, boxing manager Ryan Ricky with the hat and trench and the coat. Uh, in the ring looking like a younger version of the Lou, the Bella. Yeah, he was born in Mexico, guys. He's somebody, he got a Mexican. He's born in Mexico. Check his box red. Lives in, in, in Sydney. Main event coming up. Let's see how Glayton does after two back-to-back losses, man. He need this one. He facing a Cuban, man. You know these Cubans, these uh, you know they 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 got that good background, and they can be a bit of a surprise. So we'll see what happens. Not Al Heyman, $2 Super J says, who's a good step up for Edgar? I mean, Sugar Shane Mosley Jr., that's a good fight. Yeah, I don't know that they're going to keep it moving because, you know, that knockout came sooner than they expected. I don't know that um, everybody's ready for that main event to start.
Shout out to Chris, man. He always did a good job commentating. All right. Looks like they're going to bring out uh, the main event. They were just giving some promo, talking about how good the platform is and how good this pro box situation is for us, the fans. They need somebody to pick them up or invest some money into it. Keep it, keep it going, you know? Yeah, this do or die for Brandon Glayton, though. Two losses back to back. He's going to have to put it in today. If he wants this win, he want to stay relevant. Because this, this, is, this is main event, too, off of back-to-back -back loss. So, and he goes in tough, man. Everything he does is, you know, he been in tough ever since, you know, like Apucci, the Apucci fight. He's just been taking tough fights. He he lost to the guy that uh, Akoli beat. I think a Coley beat him, or didn't he beat a Coley too? I gotta, I would have to check that. I think a Coley beat him um, by like split or some shit. Definitely a decision, I think. But yeah, man, uh, Glayton, we know from you know sparring. You know, he he, he spars with the best, and he talks a great game, and you know he gives a good fight. I mean, everybody remembers his Apucci fight for sure. That that. That made a name for him in the in the business, and uh, you know that 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 fight that he lost. I don't even think he deserved to lose it. I mean, he's got a knockdown. He didn't get the fucking credit for. So we'll see though. Still two losses back to back. And then he's going in. I think this Cuban uh might be undefeated, or this is the Cuban that that is undefeated uh, that that has that one loss. In Mexico, when he first started, but yeah, man, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. We rocking out Monday night fights. We don't really, excuse me, Wednesday night fights. You know, it's something new for us. Shout out the Pro Box, holding us down. You know, it's been a good platform too, man. It's given a lot of people opportunities. You know, like. Christian Thun got to fight on Pro Box. Curtis Harper got to fight on Pro Box. Um, Ronald Greville. So many guys have been able, you know, to get fights on this series. It's uh, it's really been good for them, for sure. But it looks like we got both men in the ring already, and the ring announcer. Given the final instructions, final, you know, final jibber jabber before the ref takes over. Sometimes I wish I could hear what the commentators were saying. Especially on days today, like it would it would distract me more though, right? Because I'm like I'm not with Danny, and then I just start to watch it, and I would forget to get back into the conversation with y'all. But uh, hopefully they get this thing started, cause this is the last fight on the card, and um, we need this fight to go a certain way for our backup parlay, our hedge parlay to still make us some money on tonight's fights. So, we'll see. We'll see how that works out once they get this thing started. <sighs> Why are they taking so long? I thought these guys was in the ring already, bro. They still got cameras on Paulie and them. Uh, 
Uh, I am going to take a quick one minute re break. Well, I'll be right here, but. Just going to wait a minute. Boxingboys.com. All the guys want. I want what Mayweather got. I want what Mayweather got. He done bust your ass like Mayweather. I was trying to fight every fighter. I sacrificed a lot. To get to where I got to. What, what, what do you bring to the table? Let's get this on. Damn, Cuban six years younger. Okay. They, me they measure up pretty well, except the Cuban has uh, five inches less reach. So blatant with the reach advantage. Let's hope, let's hope he put some jabs together with that. So now that you can't bet this fight, I want this fight to go to win by knockout. That's what I want. Glayton by knockout. Off the two losses. What y'all thinking? Who wins and how? So I'm going to go ahead and do a poll before we get this thing going. Sorry for the silence. I'm just trying to hurry up and do this poll before they actually start. Final instructions, they are about to start in a matter of seconds. Poll is done. Round one about to start. I know Glayton about to come with all sorts of power and, and, and pressure at this dude. But he's Cuban, so let's hope he's not this great boxer. Blayton immediately trying to get as close as possible. Cuban staying composed. You can tell you got experience. You just try to lead hook there. And uh, his jab just landed pretty decent. Blayton with the left hook to the body. Cuban smiles and says, nah. Damn, the Cuban's name is La Sombra. That was a decent uppercut. Oh, shit. That was a nice little inside right hand by the Cuban. Hopefully, the skills of the Cuban aren't greater than Glayton's power. Nice three-punch combination by Cuban for the meta. Glayton got to work. He looked like he wanted to pin somebody on the road. Just work. Hmm. Right hand goes right over the top for Glayton. I 
I don't know what Glayton's doing because I feel like he just smothered himself for no reason. That's what he need to do. Start going to the body. Because this dude looking like he going to use his feet. Good slip by Glayton. Want to see some body work, though, man. Good left hand, right hand by Glayton. Mm, good left hook by Cuban for the meta. Good scrap. Hard to say who deserved that round more. Good, uh, you know, aggression, uh, output from Glayton, but also the same could be said for the Cuban. He countered well. He boxed well. Tough round to score. Tough round to score. I see some people saying Brandon Glayton round one. Oh, oh. One and oh, La Sombra. I see somebody give it to the Cuban. Good right hand by Glayton. Timestamp 243. Good left counter jab by for the meta. Glayton be smothering himself, man. He got to set that power up. Glayton not as effective as I thought he would be. That knockout pick looking horrible. He's going to have to dig to the body, bro. Slow this guy down. It's a 10 round fight, at least. So maybe things could change. Good jab by Glayton, right on the mouth. Actually, I think it's Glanton, fucking his name up. I don't know. I mean, he ain't, he not as he's not effective. Even though he's the aggressor and coming forward, he's not that effective. But could he wear, okay, there goes the right hand. Could he wear down the Cuban? Here we go. He's got him where he wants him in the corner. Good body work. Ripping to the living, ripping upstairs with the uppercut. Nice right hand over the top. Body shot to the right with the right hand. Sombra trying to hold. Glayton breaking the guard. Sombra saying, yeah, come on. But he goes right into another corner. Glayton beating the body, coming right upstairs to the head shot. Uh-oh, Sombra down. Knockout looking good all of a sudden. Knockout looking good all of a sudden. Knockout looking good. 
Glinton gets the first knockdown of the fight. And that round comes to an end. Good for Glayton. Picked it up. That's what he need to do. Pick up this pace, man. This guy don't belong in here with him. I, I don't think so. I mean, I, I did the research. I know he's got a good amateur background, but in the professional levels, he's not been in there with anyone like Glayton to be in there with anyone like Glayton. Like, get him out of here, Glayton. Do your thing. 21. Do your thing, 21. Let me see what I got. Somebody sent me a... Nope, we got to that. That was Al Heyman. We did that. Okay, 41% picking Glayton by KO. Glayton coming out on his toes this round. That, that knockout or knockdown could have motivated. Cuban fighting totally different now. He's felt the power. He's more defensive-minded. He's ripping that body. Ripping that body. And he's being held. They about to take a point. Yes. This is what I'm talking about. Uh-huh. Don't fuck it up. We here to watch boxing, not hugging. Take that point. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, he ain't been on he ain't been on his level. So when you get that pressure from somebody on that level. You start to panic. Look, he jumping right back into the ropes. I want Clint, I want Glayton to land something clean on him. Not on the body either. Glayton looking for a stoppage. My man, like, bruh, they sleeping on me. They think I'm sweet because I got two losses. You got to be strong to beat Glayton or beat him with skill. Uh, good body work, bruh. Dude probably going to retire in the corner. He don't want none of that shit. Oh, my God. That left hook would have caught him. It would have been off with his head. Good counter off for somebody off the ropes. Two-piece. Glayton can't get, you know. Oh, shit. What is up with this Cuban? He turned his back. Glayton hit him with the... He still turned around. Yo, they waved it off. That's right. That's right. Waved it off. So, my betting people, the hedge work, we made our money on the hedge. Technically, if you did exactly what I did, you didn't lose money. Even the money you bet, you won it back. So, plus profit. So, you know, shout out to G G Brandon Glanton. Getting the knockout. Dude was, I don't know. He, he They should have stopped the fight when the dude turned his back. Look, right there. Where is he going? He crazy. I don't know what he was thinking. I don't know what that was about. That's his trainer down there in the wheelchair, FYI. For those that don't know, the bald head man with the black shirt, with the BG shirt, with the gold, that's uh, Glanton's trainer. Mm. 
Well, folks, that was the last fight, man. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the live fight chat. We're back tomorrow morning. You know it. Same time at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard, 10 a.m. I mean, 9 a.m. Um, Eastern. All right, ladies and gents, i catch you on the next one. Peace.